have received a giant box of Happy Mail from Van Diemen's, and I am so excited to open this up and check out what's inside and share it with you guys. Let me take everything out of the box and then we'll unwrap and see what they sent me. I did want to mention that I am using a new mic today. I'm testing it out to see if I have better sound quality on my videos, but also if it will block out some of the background noise. So hopefully this mic works out and it doesn't mess up during the video. Otherwise I'll have to do a voiceover and I really don't like voiceovers. But I am using a new mic, so let me know in the comments if you guys think the sound is better, if you like the sound, what you guys think as we go through the video. But let me get this opened up and we will check out the goodies that Van Diemen's sent me. Okay, so I have unboxed everything and oh, my goodness, I am so excited. They have sent me a bottle of their fountain pen ink diluter and rehydrator. You can use this fluid to desaturate highly saturated inks, lighten the tone of dark colored inks, and rehydrate inks that have lost volume and thickened due to evaporation. This is a product that they added to their shop a while back. I had not bought it, and so now I have it. I will have to see if I have an ink that we can test this on in a different video. I'm not going to test this in this video, but we will check this out on another video. But this is awesome. It's in a glass bottle. It has a little eyedropper inside like that that has measurements on it, if you can see that. Oh, I'm so excited to play with this. We are definitely going to be playing with this on another video. And then I got not one, but two boxes of inks. This weighs so much. So we are going to be checking those out. And the last thing I got, I am so excited about. So Van Diemen's has launched actually this month on November 1st. They launched their ink mixing kits. And they are launching this in five different kits. And they sent me the green kit. The kits are called Fusion see that and it has this beautiful hollow on there and it has a little drawer and when you open it up it has a card inside that talks to you about the ink mixing kit and the steps to creating your ink storage care all of the things and then you have two bottles that you can put your mixed ink into and then you have your different colors for mixing that are in glass bottles with eyedroppers some of them have shimmer like this one this one is sky blue shimmering liquid and this one is lily pad green shimmering liquid this is so fun Oh, I'm so excited. And then this one is golden yellow, which is a mixable color. And then this one is blue, which is vivid blue. What you do is you basically mix your yellow and blue to get to the color that you want and add your shimmer, either more green toned or more blue toned or a combination of the two. And then you store them in these little glass bottles that are adorable. This is so much fun. I'm so excited. Oh, this is the neatest idea. I have seen some brands have offered mixing sets, but this is by far from what I've seen the nicest one. The packaging is so nice. The bottles are nice. They're doing different colors for each mixing kit. So now I'm going to have to snag all of the colors because how could I just have green? I'm going to have to have all five, right? And we're going to have to check them all out. And you get to add shimmer and it comes with the little storage bottles and they're really good size. I don't know if it says in here, it doesn't say in here what size these little bottles are, but I will check in the listing to see if it tells you the size of the bottles. But this is so much fun. Okay, so we're not going to play with this on this video. I think the Fusion Kit deserves its own video. So I'm going to put it away and then we will check it out and mix an ink in a future video. But this is the coolest thing. You guys definitely need to get this. And before I forget, I do have a link and discount code for their shop so that you can save to shop. And the way that my discount code works, it works worldwide. It's not set in a specific currency, so that way everybody gets the same value for my discount code. But we are going to check out and swatch all the inks they gave me. Oh, I can already see one and I'm so excited. I got their September ink. 
I got Bengal Tiger Blaze, Catnip, Cheetah Chase. These cat ones are a new collection that they have. And oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So Mad Half Hour and Kitten Paws. Lion's Roar and Here Kitty Kitty. Snow Leopard Frost and Ragdoll Kisses. Purr and Persian Princess. I am not a cat person, but when I saw this cat collection, oh my goodness, the colors were amazing. I had to have them. Nine Lives and Emerald Eyes. I love that they take a theme and they make their whole collection off of that theme. It's just, oh, it's amazing. Tortoise Shell and Russian Blue. And last of the cats is Tom Cat. And then they also sent me, and I'm so excited for these because I really wanted them. They sent me Elizabeth and Marilyn. Look at these boxes. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, I'm so excited. So the September ink, look how big this bottle is, guys. I mean, like, look at the box. We'll show the bottles in a second. They are doing these limited edition inks. So every month there is a new color and it is limited to that month. I think they make 100 bottles of it and that's it. And you get it with your purchase when you purchase a certain amount of their ink. And they are so pretty. You guys have to check out the November ink and then go online and order because they have been so pretty. It's been so hard not to buy all the inks every month just to get these limited edition inks. But this one was just Oh, glorious. And it has shimmer in there. It's settled in shipping. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. Oh, I cannot wait. Okay. So the first thing I have to do is take everything out of the boxes because we can't get into the inks if I don't take them out of the boxes. When you take them out of the boxes, you do have their bottles. If there's shimmer, a lot of times it will have settled to the bottom like this one. You can just roll it in your hands like this to redistribute the shimmer. If you're just swatching or you're using a dip pen, shaking it like this is perfectly fine. But if you're going to be loading your fountain pen, I highly suggest you don't do that because it does cause a lot of air bubbles and those can get into your pen and then you can get burps and spurts and all that kind of stuff. So I definitely recommend you just kind of twist it and or go like this to get that shimmer dispersed and then it will disperse into the ink bottle beautifully. But let me take them all out of the boxes and figure out a place to put the boxes. And we will check them all out. I do store my Van Diemen's inks in the boxes. So I put them all back in the boxes. Like This is one from one of their other collections that I've shared, which is from their Birds of a Feather collection. And this is Blue Jay Crown. But I do store them in the boxes so I don't throw them away. Personal choice. You could definitely throw them away. But, I mean, they're gorgeous. And I find that it's way easier to tell the color of the ink from the boxes if I have the box than the bottle. Because the bottle will have the label on it with the name, as you can see there. But on the side of the box, it will have a swatch of the color. So if I'm looking for a particular color, I don't have to open up the bottle or look at it in the light. I can just look at the box and see the swatch and I know what color it is and I know if it's the color that I'm looking for. And then of course all the boxes have the gorgeous logo on top in the gold foiling. So who wouldn't love having that stored on their shelf? Okay, so I have everything out of the boxes. We have September in their 100 millimeter bottle, and a lot of their inks come in two bottle sizes, the 30 milliliter, which is this one, and then the 100 milliliter, which is this one. I tend to buy these because I have a ton of fountain pen ink, but if it's a color that I really, really love, I get the 100 milliliter, but I have mostly 30 milliliters. So we have the September, and then we have Elizabeth and Marilyn. Marilyn has shimmer, and Elizabeth does not. And then we have the feline collection. So four of them do not have shimmer, and then the other three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve of them do have shimmer. So we are going to swatch these out, and I'm going to do this a little bit different because on a previous swatching video, I was asked to write the names of the ink in the ink so that you could see it with a pen because I do do my swatchings with an automatic pen, 
This is one of my automatic pens. I actually got these from an art store back home. They're more often found in Europe, but there is a retailer that I love that sells these online. So we'll have a link to their shop down below because I do get asked a lot about my automatic pen. And I also have my Khaki Mori nib. And I actually use mine in a Kueco SketchUp. I find it's the best holder for this nib. It's the most comfortable for me to write and I love the weight of it. I just love everything. I just love everything about it. It's even just really, really cute. I like this better than putting it into like a dip pen holder. I do have dip pen holders that are made for this and other dip pen holders and I have used it in those, but I much prefer it in this Koiko SketchUp. So I do have that as well in case I want to do a little bit with that. So I was trying to decide where I wanted to do these swatches. I do have a pad of Tomoe River paper that I often do swatches in. These are some Van Diemen ink swatches that I've actually done here on my channel. And then I pulled out this RSTEL Simple Grid Companion Notebook and I thought about doing it in this because it does have perforation so I could pull these pages out and if I wanted to tip them into my planner I could to mark this awesome Happy Mail from Van Diemen's. But I also have my swatch book that I use in most of my videos. This is Cosmo Air Light Paper and I have swatched a bunch of Van Diemen's inks in here and so I think that I'm just going to stick with my swatch book because this is what I usually use. And I just love Cosmo Air Light Paper. I'm very sad that it's being discontinued. And I love that this is spiral and that it's kind of fluffing up where I've done my swatches. It's just a fun place to swatch. So I think we're going to do it here. So I was trying to figure out what to do because normally I start with the inks that don't have shimmer and then I go to the inks that do have shimmer. But if I do that, I have to kind of mix up the collections. So I'd have to do Elizabeth and then the feline collection without the shimmer and then go back. But I think that's okay. I don't think it'll be too confusing. So I think we'll just go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with Elizabeth. I'm so excited for this one. I mean, I love Elizabeth Taylor, so there's that. But also purple is my favorite color, and this is purple. I do hope that I'm on um, the screen. I do have water to rinse my pen. And I also have this little rag. It's a t-shirt for when my kiddo was a toddler. And this is what I use as my fountain pen ink rag. I think it's turned out so beautiful with all of the colors on it. And so I use that because it reminds me of him. I'm not going to use my um, Khaki Mori for all of them, but I am going to use it for the Elizabeth, the Maryland. I think that's what I'm going to do. I just kind of want to play with it a little bit. So there we have Elizabeth. And now I'm going to do the cats down here, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, I think that'll work. So we're going to start with Russian blue. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm not a huge fan of writing with my glass dip pen, and I do have actually quite a few. I've got a bunch of ink on my finger <laughs> on my fingers. I'm actually usually really clean. Um, I do have actually quite a few different dip pens, some of which I love much more. This one was just handy and it was right here. If you guys are interested, maybe I can do a video this fall slash winter and share like my favorite dip pens and why they're my favorites. So next we have catnip. It's not that the glass dip pen is bad. It actually writes nicely. It's just not my favorite. Then we have Tomcat. Ooh, that's pretty. I actually have like a stack of new fountain pens to share with you guys. And 
I'm hoping that some of these inks will be perfect for some of those pens so that I can use them and show you guys in a pen on a video soon. Next we have Purr. There's lots of ways to get fountain pen ink off your hands if you get fountain pen ink on your hands. You know, my sister is notorious. Like, she's terrible. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. She's terrible at cleanly filling and swatching pens. Oh, y'all are off screen. Sorry. And there's lots of ways. I mean, obviously, you can just wash your hands. You can get, like, that orange soap that, like, contractors a lot of times use and stuff like that. But I have found that the easiest way is actually just to wash your hair. There's something about the properties of shampoo mixed with, I guess, the like the texture that your hair creates, that if you wash your hair, your fountain pen ink comes off. So if you're a person that does like a like a cleaning ritual where you clean all your fountain pens and then you refill all your fountain pens, do it on a Saturday before you actually take your shower for the day and then take your shower and all of the ink will come off your hands. All right, so there we have all of the non-shimmer inks, and now we're going to go to the shimmers. So we're going to start with Marilyn. Look at all that shimmer. So for speed, because this video is going to be long with the amount of ink that I have to share with you guys, for speed, I am shaking vigorously. But like I said, don't do that if you're filling a pen. I really highly suggest you don't. I see people do it all the time, but it can lead to problems so you definitely don't want to so once you've mixed it see all those bubbles that's why you don't want to shake it like that to disperse it but you can see the amazing amount of shimmer that's in there and it's just floating on there And I'm going to use my Kakimori on that one. And then we have September. Oh, I forgot. This one is shimmer also. But it stayed pretty well dispersed. Okay. Have you guys purchased Van Diemen inks? If you have, do you have a favorite color? Or favorite collection. I was in love with this September. I think it is just glorious. Now I swatch with my automatic pen because I like to lay down a lot of ink in my swatches, especially when I'm sharing it with you guys, but I do that for myself as well because I want to see all of the properties in the ink really really well so I can tell what it'll look like if I use it in different pens because my broader pens like my broads and my double broads they lay down a lot of ink but also because I use inks in dip pens where it lays down more ink because I have different um, nib sizes of those but also because you can use these in art and you can actually and you can actually use them with like an eyedropper like this and you can drop down ink or you can use a paintbrush and when you change the tool that you're using to lay down the ink you get to see the different properties and so I like to have a place where I can see all of the properties but writing it with the dip pen will show you what it looks like when you write with an actual pen so hopefully this will help you guys that are trying to figure out whether or not you like these so the next one is nine lives all the rest are going to be shimmer look at that all the Van Diemen inks are handmade and it is a brand from Australia, so there is a little bit of price in your shipping. There are some local retailers in different countries. I know there's some in the United States, but they don't carry all of their inks. They also don't offer my discount code that helps you buy more for your dollar or your country's dollar. But Peter and Belinda own the shop, and they are amazing, and so I love getting happy mail from them and ordering from them nine lives and sharing their products because I think they just do an amazing job. I'm not opening these in any particular order, just like how I unboxed them. So the next one is Leopard Frost. I'm very excited about this one. 
I'm not normally a blue ink person, but I love like steel gray blues and gray toned blues. And I absolutely love winter. It's my favorite season. And this just, I mean, it speaks winter look. It's like snow glistening. Oh, so pretty. I could probably tell you that I was excited and that every single one of these was my favorite because this collection, it's, oh, it's phenomenal. Every time they launch a new one, I think it's the best one and my favorite. Next, we have Ragdoll Kisses. This one has pink. I really do hope that my mic is working since I'm talking to you guys the whole time and not doing a speed through because sometimes I do speed up the swatching and just put it to music. But I know a lot of you guys don't like that. I also know not everyone that watches my channel is here for the planners, but I do know that most of you are also planner lovers. So I guess... While we're swatching, I could chat about planners. Ragdoll Kiss. I do actually have, here's Here Kitty Kitty, and it's gold. I realized I put the September here. I should have put it up here because now it's kind of like inside the, the little section of all of the feline ones. That was a sad choice. Oh my goodness, look at that. All of my planners for my 2024 lineup, my actual planners. My actual planner lineup is actually quite small. Um, I don't really actually use that many planners. I stick with my planners for the most part, unless they're not working. I definitely think you should change your planners if they're not working. But my actual planner lineup is quite small. And then I do have some that are journals, like they're planners, but they're for journaling. So they aren't really actually part of my planner lineup, but they are part of my lineup. The thing that I'm missing, oh, that was our puppy, sorry. Here, kitty kitty. That's really pretty. Bengal Tiger Blaze, another gold-based one. The thing that I'm missing are some of my everyday carry options. So in one of my recent videos, I mentioned that for 2024, I am going to be changing up my everyday carry planner, which is really not, I mean, it is a planner. It's going to have plans in it, but it's not like my be everything planner. That one will stay home. So it's just something to have on the go so I can remember what we have going on that week and I don't miss something, but also so I can just make lists, like shopping lists and to do's notes for my channel, like anything that kind of pops up into my head when I'm not at home, which is a lot more than I am home because I do work out of the house full time. And so I need something with me that's kind of just a place to like dump all that stuff and to keep it all straight in an organized fashion. I have thought about actually just carrying like a spiral notebook. We have mad half hour and it has this sort of like nebula color, if you can see that. But I have thought about just carrying a spiral notebook and that does work, but I need something that actually has a little bit of a planner structure, right? It has the days of the week on there so that I can keep like appointments and school events and things like that straight. And if my husband calls and says, hey, we are gonna be doing something on X date, I can write it down. So when I get home, I can put it in my main planner, my catch all planner. So, I am going to be carrying around a planner, but it's going to serve more as kind of like, I guess, a, a notebook. So it's going to be, oh, this is so pretty. It's going to be a little bit on the messier side. I mean, I still may add some stickers or washi or mild liner or something just for fun or if I'm bored at work or something, I want to stick some down. But it's more for just pen and paper, messy plans kind of to match the mess in my brain that's going on when I'm trying to remember everything at half hour. And so I am going to be carrying like an everyday carry planner. And I'm calling it my extension planner because it's not my main planner. It's an extension of my brain and an extension of my catch-all everything planner. 
kitten paws. Look how cute. And I decided that there was no reason for that planner to be like one planner the whole year because it is messy and it's not like the actual hub of all of our plans. It's just something for me to carry with me. I could change it up whenever I felt like it or if the seasons are different. So the planner that I need if we're on spring break or we're traveling or on summer break or Christmas break is different than the planner I need during the school year. The amount of space is different. The layout I need could be different. And so this is kitten paws. That's a really cool color. It's very unique, like a brownish pink color. I like that. Next we have Persian princess. So I decided that I would allow myself to use whatever one I wanted. I mean, it has to be a smaller size because that's kind of the whole point is to not lug around my giant A5 Wonderland 222 that I'm going to be using for my everything planner. So it needs to be small enough that it's portable. It shouldn't be a big planner. It needs to be like A6 size, weeks size, passport size, something like that. But it doesn't have to be the same one all the time. And then I can use some of the different brands that I want to support and I can just change out whenever I feel like it. Or if I want to be in my ring system that I've been testing out, which I'm really liking, I can do that. And so next year, my everyday carry extension planner will be different. All that to say, I haven't done my planner lineup video because I haven't gotten all of my orders that contain the planners that would be potentially part of that extension planner. I have not gotten my Aura Stell order, nor have I gotten my Sterling Ink order. So I do have planner videos like unboxings for my planners for 2024 still coming. Next we have Cheetah Chase. And then I also have one, maybe two, I can't remember 100%, um, one, maybe two more planners that I ordered to review with you guys. And so I will be sharing those, but I was also thinking about ordering or not ordering, um, creating a video because I'm going to do a lineup video, obviously. I mean, you guys want to know my full lineup, right? I was thinking that I might do that lineup video in two pieces. So like one, the actual lineup, and then one that was just the extension planners, just so that it's a little more organized because my lineup is really just the main planners, the actual planners, whereas the extension is just kind of like an organized notebook, I guess. So just thinking about separating them, then I wouldn't have to wait to do my lineup video until those orders come. Next we have Tortoise Shell, and I know I'm going to love this one because I love brown fountain pen ink. It's one of my favorites. It's kind of purple. But I was thinking about separating it. I don't know what you guys think about that. But I was also thinking about doing a video like what planners I'm not using and why. So I know most everybody, we all share the planners we are using. I think this is going to be like a purple brown color. And if it is, I'm so excited. I can't tell if it's just purple or if it's purple brown. I guess I could have looked at the box. It's kind of hard to tell, but it does look like a brown with purple. We will see when it's dry. I'm really intrigued by that one. Uh, what was I saying? Next we have Emerald Eyes. And then what was I saying? Oh, so I thought it would be fun maybe to do a video that showed you guys what planners I'm not using and why. Now granted, it can't be like every planner in the world I'm not using, but like all the ones that I looked at and thought about because I did make, you know, notes and like lists of planner options and planners that might work for me and then talk about, look how pretty that is, um, and talk about why I chose not to use different planners because sometimes I think that helps as well. So I don't know if that would be something that people would be interested in. And I do have actually a 
notebook haul to share with you guys with some specialty paper that would be great for journaling or drawing and using your fountain pen inks. So I need to make sure that I remember to get that done as well to share it with you guys. It's from a shop I bought from before, but I bought a bunch of new things a while back and I need to share that. And then last we have a lion's roar, which has gold. I'm just gonna stick it right here. Okay. All right, so there we have everything that I got in this Happy Mail box from Van Diemen's. We have Elizabeth and Marilyn, we have the September, and then we have all of the inks from the Feline collection. And oh, they are so pretty. Oh my goodness. I am so excited. I'm trying to figure out which one is my favorite, but they're not dry yet. So what we're going to do is I'm going to leave it here and let it dry. I'm going to rinse out my water and make sure that I have my tools cleaned nicely. And then once it is all dry, I'm going to come back and I'm going to share it with you guys and show you guys what each one of them looks like up close dry so that you guys can see them in all of their glory. The shimmer looks so pretty from here. I am so excited and I'm trying to figure out which ones of these I think I might want to use in some fountain pen videos that are coming to share with you guys. Okay, so everything is dry except for Cheetah Chase and Lion's Roar and Tortoise Shell. Those have a little bit of a wet spot. I guess um, Tomcat and Nine Lives do as well. But we're going to go ahead and check them out because I want to see what they look like up close and personal. We have Elizabeth that has some green gold sheen in it. It's a beautiful purple. And then we have Marilyn with this beautiful sparkle. I hope that the camera is picking that up because you can even see the sparkle in the writing that I did with the dip pen. So you're going to see sparkle in your pen writing as well. And that's the case actually with all of these as I sort of move them around in the light. You can see the shimmer and sparkle in them. Then we have September which is this wonderful, like rainy, cozy blue color. I absolutely love it. It has a little bit of a pinky purple tint to it. And then the rest of these are the feline collection. So we have Russian blue, catnip, tomcat, purr, ragdoll kiss, leopard frost, nine lives, here kitty kitty, Bengal tiger blaze, mad half hour, Kitten Paws, Persian Princess, Cheetah Chase, Emerald Eyes, Tortoise Shell, and Lion's Roar. Now, Tortoise Shell in the bottle looked purple, but it's actually a brown with green, and it's so pretty. Look at all of that beautiful shimmer and sparkle and sheen in these inks. They are so pretty. So I'm trying to figure out which one my favorite is. I actually like Kitten Paws a lot. I actually thought this one had shimmer in it, so I had put it in the shimmer pile. But Kitten Paws actually doesn't have shimmer in it. But it is one of my favorites. I think this is like the prettiest sort of taupey nude, almost rose gold colored. I think here Kitty Kitty and Kitten Paws and Bengal Tiger Blaze, those are going to look really pretty in a rose gold pen. I actually have a video planned. I've been pulling inks aside to test to see what inks would look good with rose gold pens. So I'm going to add those three to that. And then at some point I'll be doing a video on that as well. But I'm having a lot of trouble figuring out what my favorite is. I really love Marilyn. I knew that I would. It's so pretty. It's like kind of bubblegum pink with some shimmer in it. But Mad Half Hour is so pretty and so unique. I absolutely love it. And then I really like the three sort of rose gold colored ones. I adore September. I think it is absolutely beautiful. So, so pretty. But I really, you couldn't go wrong with any of these. I like all of them. But I think this row right here 
is my favorite from the feline collection and then Marilyn and September are my other two favorites but this is also the perfect purple there is a lamy purple that I absolutely love and this reminds me a lot of that so I'm very excited for that but that is my share of my happy mail from Van Diemen's I got all of these gorgeous inks which you will see some of these in future videos as we fill up pens and test out pens I got the bottle of their fountain pen ink diluter and rehydrator this is going to be super fun as soon as I find an ink in my collection that needs to be diluted and or rehydrated we will test this out on a video and then I got the fusion kit and I'm really excited to play with this with you guys. So I will be doing a video where we mix ink with this fusion kit and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up buying the other four kits as well because this is so fun and I think my kiddo would really enjoy mixing some ink colors with me as well. I think it would be a really fun thing to do. But that's my video of my Happy Mail from Van Diemen's. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to put them down below and I will definitely get back with you. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this unboxing and swatching. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.